weren't going to make a video today, but we uh, we decided we had to do it just because this rug that we got in the shop today is absolutely covered and soaked in urine. So uh, we are going to get started. We'll show you everything, and we will uh, hopefully get it clean. <laughs> right now, there is no cleaning solution, pet treatment, anything on this rug. This is just water, and all the soap you see in here, that's from whatever the customer tried to use herself to to handle this urine issue or her own. So um, I'm actually going to show you guys a picture of the back of this rug right now and you're going to see how much just how much urine is on the back of it. So uh, and then we'll uh, we'll be back to show you what we're doing here. All right so he's still running uh, my father here is still just running the machine with just nothing just water. And I'm, run, I'm starting to run the flush one here and you can just see how much yellow is coming out of this thing. So, and again, a rug like this, there's no reason to put down any cleaning solution until, until we get as much of this loose stuff out as possible. What do you see the back? Especially for the size. Wow, look how much is just coming out of this thing. It's gonna come out wonderful. But the lighting, I mean, it looks yellow, but from when you're actually looking at it, it is, it is brown yellow. Look at this. And again, we haven't even started cleaning yet. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing this and then we are gonna, we're gonna actually turn this over and do the same thing to the back before we even start cleaning the front. We'll show you a picture of the back when we turn it. Yeah, you, um, you're gonna, oh my God. Yeah, and you can just see how much yellow is just coming out of this thing. Wow. Well, listen, that's why we're here. And you know, this is something that, you know, maybe a certain, some customers would want to get rid of this rug, but if you really like your rug, you know, we can, we can help you out. You know, it helps that this is a synthetic rug as well. Um, basically, nothing can absorb into the fibers so it's really just a matter of getting the stuff out Yeah, this, this might be the most urine I've ever seen in a synthetic rug this size, honestly. Right, over. Turned it over. Uh, we haven't put any cleaning solution down, no pet treatment yet. And we're just gonna just try to push whatever we can to the front of the rug. This rug is really thin. So that's actually gonna help quite a bit when we clean it. And all this soap though, all this soap is from the customer trying to do this at home. Right, and that's and that's a big problem with when you try to do this stuff at home without you know. Oh, listen, for one or two spots, it's fine. But if you just keep having a pet issue, I mean that that urine remains there, and you know it's something that you definitely need to get taken care of. All right, so we're going to actually put a pet treatment on the back of this, turn it over, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're just doing, uh, we actually put the pet treatment on the back now, and we are working in, but we are definitely seeing some actually the urine out from the, it almost looks like from the front coming up to the back here. You can see how dark this is. So we are, we are getting there. So the next step, we're going to turn it over, we're going to clean the front of it, and we will just show you all that, and then I'll start to talk to you guys again once we start to uh, actually rinse it. We just, we turn this rug over, and 
we saw how much urine is actually just laying on the front from turning it over. So we actually haven't even put any sol cleaning solution on the front yet. We're just going to do it now. You know, but I just movie, yes. really want to show you guys how much urine is coming out of this thing. All right, so we finally put down the pet treatment, and we are actually starting to clean the rug now. It, it stinks. Stinks? <laughs> well, that pet treatment, basically, as soon as it, it touches, it starts to break down the urine, so yeah, it's, it's definitely going to stink. All right, so we're gonna let this dwell, rinse it out, probably wash it again, and then get it in the centrifuge. All right, now we are just trying to rinse out the first wash. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Definitely getting clearer, though. Definitely getting clearer. Alright, this rug is looking a lot better. Uh, we're going to clean it one more time just to make sure we get it fully deodorized and everything else, but you can, we can even see when we just squeegees it off again, much, much clearer. So we're getting there. I'm almost ready to spin. Okay, we are just about there. You can see the water in the trough is getting a lot clearer. Now the squeegee is a little white, the water, but that's just from our pet treatment and our rug shampoo. And I think we're ready to spin this. All right, guys, so this rug actually came out amazing. Uh, show it to them. All of the urine is out of it. There is no smell whatsoever. Um, the back of the rug, which you saw a picture of before, I mean, it looks like night and day. So much cleaner. So much brighter, too. I mean, just really, really happy with the way this came out. But uh, anyway. That's why we wanted to make a short little video for you guys today, a little extra one to kind of jam into the week. Uh, I am Pat, Pat Senior behind the camera, and so I'm cleaning a ton of floors as well. And uh, we are around the clock rug washing, especially cleaning services. Well, if you're in the New York area, specifically Long Island, Queens, if you ever need anything from us, please don't hesitate, give us a call, talk dirty to us. We will see you guys in the next video.